Matt Guitar Mania in the studio with my most expensive guitar. But bad news, people. It's not my favorite, and I'll tell you why. If you've seen my other video, why my cheapest guitar is my favorite, you'll know I have five criteria I base my choice on for favorite guitar. The guitar has to look good, has to be easy and enjoyable to play, it needs to sound good, it needs lots of tonal variety options, and it needs to be comfortable, balanced, and rugged. It's crazy to say, and this is Matt Guitar Mania, so maybe I'm crazy. No, 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 no. But this beautiful guitar doesn't meet all the criteria to qualify as my favorite. It might be yours, it might be everybody else's, but I don't consider it my favorite. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you the good stuff, but I'm gonna be honest about the stuff that meh, made it a loser. And now for a public service announcement from our sponsor, me. If you like videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. LCS, it's simple. It helps me, it helps you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to be honest about my assessment of why this didn't pass my five criteria test. But let me give you details first. This is the 2022 model Yamaha Revstar RSS-02T. It's in the beautiful finish color of Hot Merlot. And I don't know what Merlot is. I think it's a wine. It is a beauty. Could you have anything prettier than this? I mean, if it was on looks alone, yes. And I love the aged looking pick guard, the sweet looking P90s. Dude, you can't get much prettier. It's prettier than my favorite. Got to give it that. Okay. Check out the tailpiece. Love it. It floats, dude. You can adjust these screws, make it go up and down if you want. It's got the simple but effective tunematic bridge. It's got really sweet chrome hardware everywhere. You can't ask for anything prettier. Look at the headstock. My goodness. This thing is a beauty all around. And pfft, it's got a satin neck. Oh. You know that scores big points in my game. The back is black. Love it. Look at that. Ooh, look at the reflection. Okay. It's got the beauty points out the door. This thing is an 11 on a 10-point scale. So it passed the first test. Let's check out test number two. It has to be easy and enjoyable to play. The Revstar passed the first test of looking good with flying colors better than just about every guitar I own. Test number two is, is it easy and enjoyable to play? Heck yeah, dude. When it comes to being easy and enjoyable to play, this guitar has everything I love. Rosewood fretboard, sweet stainless steel frets that will never wear out and don't have any scratchy sounds, and satin neck on the back. It's super and easy and comfortable to play. Love it for chords. Love it for leads. Love it for just about everything. It's easy and comfortable to play. Passes two tests so far. Why am I so picky? Oh. Test number three is, does it sound good? Yes, it sounds good. But this is also where it kind of fell short for me. I'll tell you what I mean. There are five pickup positions, all right? Two sweet P90 style pickups five pickup positions, and a push-pull pot. And the push-pull pot is where it kind of got a from me. I was so psyched when I found out about this guitar a year and a half ago. I looked at all the videos. I watched the reviews. People loved it. I went to the store, tried it, and I loved it. But I brought it home, and the more I've used this push-pull pot, which is the focus switch? 
I think it actually makes it less focused. And what I mean is, if I'm thinking focus switch, I would want it to focus my tone and notes and everything. It seems to blur everything when I pull it out. It kind of muddles the sound and it bums me out. Here's a tone sample in the neck position, just plain and simple. No focus knob or anything like that. It sounds delicious. Sweet. It sounds beautiful. I love it. Everything about it. Love it. Okay, let's move it to position four. Let's go to position three. It's the basic mixed two pickups, sort of a little bit of a quacky sound. I like it. Good, right? Good stuff. The next position is the bridge pickup. I love it. It's perhaps my favorite. I don't usually like bridge pickup sound. I love it. It's what I use to record the outro you'll hear in my videos. Here's a little tone sound. All right, so see what I mean? It's got that cool retro sound to it. Digging that. So let's go into the focus switch. I'll show you why this failed miserably. Failure. 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 We're talking about the focus switch now, which is the lower knob. It acts as a tone control, but it's also the focus push pull pot. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's put it in first position bridge pickup. This is by itself regular. <laughs> Let's pull the focus knob up and you'll see what I mean. What the heck is that? That did not focus the sound, the tone, the volume, anything. Failure! It's almost like someone went and put a muffle on it. Come on, dudes. Now let's move it to one more position. Let's try position two. A little quacky. Not my favorite. Let's make it worse. You ready? See what I'm saying? Middle position. I do like middle position. Pull up that quacky wacky focus switch. Don't understand it. I've watched almost every video put out by numerous YouTubers. A lot of them really love the focus switch. I hate it. Sorry. That was the big selling point for this guitar. That's why it failed test number three for me. It does sound good, but the extras that I thought I was getting failed miserably. Failure. Test number four is does it have lots of tonal variety? Yes way more than I need, especially if you don't use a stupid focus switch. Five position pickup switch, P90s, totally nails it. All the tonal variety you could ever desire. And you can even have the muffled sound if you want. It's up to you. So it does pass test number four. Test criteria number five is, is it lightweight, balanced, and rugged? Well, sorry, it's not lightweight at all. Even though one of the key selling factors is that it has a chambered body. So the hollowed out body, which was supposed to make it lighter, still didn't put it under eight pounds. It's over eight pounds. It's not comfortable to hold for a long time. And I have to say, kind of, not horribly, but sometimes it feels like it has neck dive. Do you see that? It's sliding on me. I'm not holding it. That 
bums me out because the body is heavy enough to hold this stinking neck. I don't know if it's where they put the uh, strap clip or what, but it doesn't balance out. So unfortunately, this thing failed another test of mine. It's not lightweight. It is rugged. I'll give you that. It's got a nice finish to it. Nothing weak or wimpy about this. Good hardware, stainless steel frets, strong, solid body. None of that's a problem. All the hardware is solid. That is good. It's just too heavy. Too heavy, guys. So that's my honest assessment of the Revstar after owning it for almost a year. It failed two important tests in my book. Failure. 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 Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate your time. Tell me what you think about my tests and my opinions of the Revstar. Do you think I'm being too picky? What about the focus knob? Do you like the focus knob? Do you think I'm just dumb? Or maybe my ears suck? Tell me what you think. I'd love your feedback. As always, thanks for watching Matt Guitar Mania. I'll see you on the next one.